Ladies and gentlemen, this is an investigative report on that connection between male athletes and sexual assault. How common is it? Why does it happen? Let's take a look at cases around the country and some staggering facts. Take a look. Item, Syracuse basketball player admits to committing sex offense this past February. Item, Iowa basketball player pleads guilty to a charge of simple assault on a 17-year-old girl. Item, while visiting the campus, potential college basketball recruit rapes first-year female student. As the world of athletics continues to attach itself to rape, gang rape, and other sexual assaults, the connection is just beginning to be explored. Item, St. John's University in Queens, New York. Five members of the lacrosse team allegedly drugged, kidnapped, and gang raped a female student at their off-campus home. The students are awaiting trial. Item, Washington Capitals hockey team in D.C. Four players were accused of sexually assaulting a 17-year-old girl in a limousine. Item, Glen Ridge High School in New Jersey. Five high school jocks were charged with sexually assaulting a mentally impaired teenage girl. They used a broomstick and a miniature baseball bat. They were indicted last May and are awaiting trial. From high schools to colleges to the pro league, male athletes are primed and pumped on the field. Some of them have a hard time turning it off on the streets. I'd like to introduce a special guest, Lindy Cresatelli right now, who heads an organization called uh, uh, scared. What does it stand for again, Lindy? Students concerned about rape education. Lindy told me the story about the high school recruit. Uh -huh. I mean, Syracuse had seven uh, rapes, something yeah, like and, that. Yeah, and six were in the first five weeks, which is considered the honeymoon period when all the new freshmen come. But I want to say, we, we've been able to get into the fraternities and sororities and do a lot of programming there. We're gotten, we've gotten into the residence halls. Everybody else is getting the education. It's about time the athletics program is mandated to get the, the education as well. Okay, uh, good point. Let's take a break. Peter Lesser. Well, yeah, I'd like to enhance on that. One, uh, his question about why he can't get into the athletics. Uh, talk to a lot of college presidents. They can't get into their own athletic departments. That's what they said. They're run by some athletic departments. are run by separate corporations, totally devoid of any university control at all. And it, but it still is culture shock. It's that shock of suddenly being a star, suddenly being without responsibility or rules, and not knowing what to do. Thanks, everybody. Best of luck to you. Best of luck to everybody out there.